tonight we're going to be looking at a skin construction tutorial. So how is it that we can get our skin customised in StarMade? So we're going to need to look at a couple of things and the first thing is obviously going to be uh, the actual file, our file window. So I'm going to go into one of the StarMade folders I've got here. So this will be your StarMade folder with all of your data. So I'm going to go into the data folder and uh, skinning resources. I'm just going to copy all of these. Those will be my guides for what goes where and where is what. They're also quite useful. But anyway, so we go back and uh, go back to the folder that I've got here called Tamino Sama. In here we have a folder called Template, which I've copied from my own skin. And these are the four skins that I made earlier. So chuck them in there. I've got my original skin for a guide, and that shows me where I need to put the emission if I want. I tend to just use these. They're all PNG files. The helmet is 128 by 128. The emission, the same. The actual player texture is 256 by 256, and so is the emission. <coughs> so we're going to take a quick look at these. So I'm going to go preview. And... So on this particular one you can see that we've got the left boot, right boot, the back of the boot, the front of the boot and the sole and then the same for the left boot. Over here we've got the face, left side, right side, top, bottom and back. The neck obviously goes around and then we have the top, okay, which is the bit that goes over his the top of his shoulders. All right, we've got the front front, side, the side of that particular leg, this side of the other leg, okay, and obviously these are the two sides of his waist, and the arm will start here, okay, uh, obviously we've got the, the rights, the, the, the left, so this is the inside, and these are the outsides, okay, so it's folding around, and then we put the insides there and there, and it puts them nice together, for the arms, they're nice and easy, so they go down like that. Obviously, that's the front of the arm. There's the top. There's the back. And that's below. Okay, so top, below, front, back. So that should help. But basically, I just put a mark and figured it out at the time, because I didn't have this the first time I did it. So you just have to experiment, but we're going to show you ways of doing it that it won't mess everything up. <coughs> um, but yeah, moving on to the next one. This would be the helmet. So that's the standard helmet that you get. So you can see there's the face, or the, the screen, just like the uh, last one. And this is the emission. So you can see the white bits. Everything's black. Anything black doesn't emit anything. Any white will emit. I think it's based on scale. I haven't tried messing about with different colours. I think it just enhances the colour underneath it to be honest. So yeah. Right, and here we go. That's the skin I'm currently using. I will actually be doing a new one because this is like Zero did this one for me and it served me well. But I think I'm due to do myself a new one, but I'm not doing that tonight. So there we go. Okay. And then this one would be the shading. Sometimes I'll actually use this as a semi-transparent overlay. Um, it didn't work so well with the helmet, but definitely did with the body. So this is the diagram for the helmet. Front face, top. Front face, top, inner. These are the insides, see. And you've got below, back, right, left, left, right, back, below. If you make it all transparent rather than black, it, it'll sort of have a glass effect, a bit like ice, in fact, in some of the uh, current, te te current, uh, current texture packs. And then this is that one which I've used with a slight transparency, you know, because it's, it's quite nice to overlay over the top of things to give a nice effect back to something. But yeah, so this is the one which I'm going to leave up and uh, like I say going back to the actual files 
So what I've got here, that's what I want. That's what I want to see right now. So if I just go and take a quick look at some finished ones, maybe you see uh, what you what you want to, what we're dealing with. So going into the banana men, as you can see, look at this. Whoops! If that isn't that's not cheap, you know. <laughs> see if we can get a preview. It's interesting, for some reason it wants to open a different one. Okay, so then we'll add another window by the looks of it. Do, 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 do. Sorry about this guys, give me a sec. Uh, Bananas! So that's the helmet skin right there. Uh, and as you can see, what I've done is I've just taken a solid image because what the skin does is it's like a cookie cutter. It, I could make the size of the skin smaller by taking what's inside um, by taking what's inside the uh, skin and removing everything outside of it. So, for example, what I do here is I'd like get a magic wand selection click on the black space, shift click on any other pockets, control uh, C, and then take a mat, take it over to this picture, plonk it down, select that layer, select the mat, switch back to the banana layer, and then remove the invert, uh, yeah, and then remove that. <coughs> That's one way you could do it. So then um, what would happen is it would save a bit of memory by cutting all the bananas out of the black space. You know, but effectively, if you don't care about the size of the skin, um, because this is 43 kilobytes, it's not a big file. Um, the full player texture is bigger. It's 116 kilobytes, which is big for a player skin. Um, but like I say, the guy said he wanted bananas, so I gave him bananas. And it did come out okay, actually. I'll uh, quickly show you that. Explore an infinite universe. I love the new website, it's great. So we'll just turn that off and on, I think, when we need it. Yeah. Let's just get rid of Photoshop for a second. So yeah, on the new forum, we can just head into uh, forums, and then community content. And like I say, just scrolling down, we've got all this new stuff. Oh, there's a galaxy skin by Lego Assassin. See, this is an interesting example, actually. He's done a similar thing. He's got a picture of the galaxy. Come on. Come on, content. My, my stuff. Am I lagging the, the internet with my crazy streaming? Uh, <laughs> looks like I can't load that, but I could probably load some of my stuff. Let me see. Do, 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 do. My resources. Right, let's get back on topic and go for the banana men skin. So there you have the skin, and that's how it came out in the end. So from what I did, I ended up with that. And when it's walking around and moving and stuff, it actually looks pretty cool. So yeah, you know, you'd be interested what you can get from this. So yeah, like I say, there it is. It's the Banana Man skin, that's what we're going to be talking about, and I made it for Test Kill. So, like I say, he's a new player on the server. Right, so we're just going to get rid of this, and get back to this. So, effectively what i got here is a banana, and that's going to be cut out by the game. The game's going to go, I'm only going to use these bits for this part of the model, cut out. And you're probably thinking, well, what's this black thing for? Well, that is my emit uh, emis emissive skin. And I'm going to show you how to make that. But effectively, you take this layer, copy it, and use a process in the tool. It's, it's, it's very simple. It's a preset. And you can slide it up and down so that you can pick the light areas from, you know, so it'll just make everything black except for the areas of alpha, I believe it goes off of. You can probably change that. 